Hello, I'm Jerry Ford, the beer review guy. Got a new shiner here that I have not seen. Um, well, I guess shiner puts out an Oktoberfest um, every year. Um, but we're not that close to October, are we? So... What is the date on this actually? Let's see. <clears throat> I don't see it. Huh. Okay. Oh well, yeah. 5.7, it's not that huge on the ABV, so if it is last year's Could be kind of chancy on whether or not it's going to be good. So we're going to find out, I guess. Got it from Walmart. Um, don't look too bad so far. Got decent carbonation. Got a Two finger head there. Marzen style beer. Oktoberfest. Seasonal. <clears throat> okay. Has a mm, off white light mocha kind of vanilla head there two finger has a a deep amberish appearance lightly cloudy in there smells really good it has a um a lightly sweet um light citrus aroma Maybe a little caramel kind of a, a kind of aroma. A little bready. All right, let's try it. Wow. Man, that's good. <clears throat> um, light to medium carbonation um, on the burn there. Uh, it's got a medium body. Um, very flavorful. Um, light bitter on the back end, sweet up front. Um, Let's see. <clears throat> it's probably a hop in here. Um, hop or two. See what it says. From around the world, gather in Munich, separate Oktoberfest with a, with a name like that. Let's see. Uh, excuse me. Uh, Start a month later, but hey, it's sufficient. If you can't take it, you can be there in spirit with the classic. Oh, did you want me to read it to you guys? Um, I'm sure you all are familiar with Shiner stories. But. Every September, millions of people from around the world gather in Munich to celebrate Oktoberfest. With a name like that, you'd think it'd start a month later. But hey, it's tradition. And if you can't be there in person, you can be there in spirit with this classic brew made from Munich and caramel malts, okay, along with German-grown Hallertau 
tradition and Hersbrucker hops. Now fill your stein. Ready? Einzweiz dry. I'm sure I didn't say that right. Okay, so it has hops in there. Um, uh, and it is a multi, has a, you know, maltiness to it. Um, and it says caramel malts. And I did get a caramelish kind of note. It's very good. Very good. I don't get many Oktoberfest um, type beers or Marzen. If Marzen is the same as... Well, maybe Marzen's are Oktoberfest type beers. I don't know. Yeah, I know I'm the beer review guy, but I don't know a whole lot about some types of beers. Um, but, uh, <clears throat> in fact, you guys all know that I don't review a lot of beers much anymore. <laughs> um, right now it's difficult for me to get them for one thing, but, uh, but anyway, I'm going to stop with that running on of my mouth. And uh, have you guys uh, tried this? It's good. All right. I'm going to end it there. I thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. And we will see you on the next one. All right. Bye.